Welcome, welcome, welcome to another DJ Wilson STEM video. It's been a few weeks since I've actually made in one of these, but we're going to jump right back into, into the swing of things. Uh, this particular video we're going to show is um, going to be kind of a, a, a real quick how to design and create a, a, a CO2 dragster. Now, because of the fact that I am involved in Technology Student Association, I'm an advisor, um, I'm going to go by TSA rules for this particular year. Now, again, please make sure that you always review the rubric and the regulations of the year that you're involved in, but um, I'm going to go by kind of what we're doing this year. So this year, okay, so I'm not going to go into the all the, the, the all in all of this particular project, but I will show you uh, a, a good synopsis and a good design for a car. It is not a perfect design. There is no necessary perfect design because a lot of it has to do with the engineering of your vehicle. Okay, so at the same time, I do want you to make sure that you do your own research. So I'm going to draw a vehicle. Now typically I always suggest orthographic three view. So orthographic three view we draw in our front, top, and side of views. Okay. So our vehicle this year has to be between 20 and 30 uh, millimeters. Um, the typical piece of material that I'm going to use is a material that is four centimeters wide. Okay. And of course it has the, um, the uh, engine component and it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to trace uh, the block of material. Now the reason why we're going to uh, trace this piece of material is because we do not want, I want to make sure that as I'm drawing the side view that it's all a part of, uh, of the material. So I'm not drawing anything outside. So I'm going to trace my vehicle. Well, I'm going to trace this block that is. And I am using just regular um, uh, metric graph paper. Okay, so now you kind of see the outline of my design, okay, or the outline of the, of the block. So one of the other things that you also should do is you should make sure that you mark where your CO2 uh, cartridge is going to go because you know that you never should cut anywhere I would tell my students don't cut anywhere near that CO2 cartridge okay or where that hole is going to be because if you cut into it I gotta disqualify your vehicle alright so I know that my cartridge is going to be about five centimeters deep so one, two, three, four, five, and I'll go six just for safe keeping. So I'm not going to cut within this area. Okay? So let's start with my design. All right. So typically, um, personally, I always, you know, some, sometimes you start from the front, sometimes you start from the back. Me, I'm going to start from the back only because I know I want to reduce drag. So I am going to shave part of, I'm going to uh, make the vehicle slope down near the back because I want to reduce drag, okay? And the same thing with the bottom of the vehicle. Now one of the things that I don't think many people talk enough about is just like center of gravity deals with flight that the, the center of gravity of a vehicle should be, or well, center of gravity of a plane should be around the leading edge of the main wing, the center of gravity for a vehicle should be somewhere around the middle of the vehicle or near where the, where the weight of the vehicle is, okay? And you should place your wheels where they can best uh, mitigate the, the effect of that center of gravity. Because here's, if, if you're, if, use my two hands. If my vehicle is front heavy, when, when the CO2 cartridge uh, uh, blast off it, it is ignited, it's going to press the front of the car down because it's, it, it, it's front heavy. If it's back heavy and the front is too light, then it's going to shift up. Whereas if I have my center of gravity somewhere around in this area, 
um, what it's going to do, it's going to allow that nice push off, that nice straight push off. Okay, so to so because of that, what I will do is I'm actually going to put one of my wheels underneath my um, my CO2 cartridge. Again, there's so much of this that is based off of your design. So many creative ways to do this, but it is all up to you. Okay, so I'm going to make a place for my wheels and again your wheel should be about half a centimeter above the um, the bottom of your car so I'm gonna put my back wheel about right here okay and then uh, for me I will slope up my vehicle obviously the reason for that I want my vehicle to be as light as possible and be as aerodynamic as possible now about right here is 20 centimeters so I am going to slope my vehicle back down my front wheels are going to go about right here and there's going to be the front of my vehicle and then for the top and that is going to be the side view of my vehicle and notice how it all fits within that block now one of the things I do want to make you aware of as you're designing your vehicle I always tell my students whenever you're cutting out your material cut cut away from your line remember just like I, I taught in one of the other in one of the other videos about sanding there's a couple different levels of sanding okay one is to when when you first cut out your material you're not necessarily cutting you just cut out the basic shape right and then you're sanding it down until this actual shape that you want okay so that's what I'm doing with this vehicle this is the basic outline, but when I cut it out, I'm not. I'm, there's some errors of it. I'm not even going to come close to, but I'm going to sand down to those. All right. So now I'm going to draw uh, the top view of my vehicle. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Match up my match up my block. And then I'm going to draw that outline. Okay, so here's my outline. Uh, this, I, since my side view is 23.5 cent, um, centimeters, I'm going to add that measurement there. And it's 23.5. The height of my vehicle. is one, two, three, four, five, about 5.5. 5. Okay. Typically, this should be 0.5 centimeters. Same as here. 0.5 centimeters. All right. So, I know that my vehicle has to be 23 and a half centimeters long so it's going to be about this long so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient my paper a little bit differently okay and now I'm going to draw what I want my vehicle to look like from the top now again just like I did with the side view I'm going to mark on my blueprint where my CO2 cartridge is 
and not come anywhere close to it. Okay? So I'm going to, and again, you want to reduce your drag. So I'm going to uh, have it slope out a little bit. And again, I'm, I'm doing this fast for the video. So this is it. I would take a little bit more time on this. Let's see. The wheel comes in about right there. So, nice streamlined vehicle, okay? Um, once I've done my, um, my measurements and my blueprint, then what I will do is I will draw, I'll, I'll do the side view first, because on the side view, because when I start cutting this up, when I get into my material, I want to actually, and then and I want to, draw where my axle holes are going to be because I want to make sure that my axles are pretty straight because when I do this when the drill, with the drill press I want to go straight, straight through. But I want to draw the side view first and then I'll uh, trace the top view Sorry, I gotta fix this a little bit this it's not right to me alright so once I've done this, now you're going to find different people tell you to do different things and it just follow your, follow your teacher's instructions. That's all, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place my blueprint over my block and I'm going to match up the back of my blueprint with my block, okay? And then because again, you'll, you'll see, you'll have some teachers that will tell you to, to cut this out. And it's fine if you want to cut it out. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, not to me, it doesn't. But um, you'll find some people that say cut it out, and then others that will say tape it on. But for me, I, I like to trace it through. The reason why I like to trace it, because I like to keep my blueprint intact. And so... Now when I'm drawing it on here, what's going to happen is I will be able to see the lines on the balsa wood and then I'll just make the lines a little bit deeper. So there's one wheel, there's the other wheel. Okay. So now what I'll do you might you may be able to see it you might not be able to see the lines but now I'm going to trace the lines in a sharpie So now once I've done this, guess what it's time to do? It's time to use the bandsaw to cut this joker out. All right, so let's go into the shop. We're gonna grab that bandsaw and ah, shut it on. Get it on, get, 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 get,